Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. In my series of videos on the basic stability, uh, knowledge of basic stability, I was doing the syntax stability criteria. Today, I'm going to do a special criteria applicable to the container ships more than 100 meters in length. Well, administration may also apply these criteria to other cargo ships with large flare or large water plane area. The hull of the vessel expands outwardly uh, above the water line. You know, such ships, these criteria will be applicable. So before we uh, list down the criteria which are applicable to these ships, we must know that there is something called constant C on such ships. This constant C is dependent on various parameters on the ships. For example, what is the molded depth of the vessel? What is the depth of the vessel? What is the draft of the vessel? What is the beam of the vessel at midship? What is the block coefficient and what is the water plane coefficient? Right? What is the draft and what is the kg? You know? And what is, of course, the length of the vessel? Right? Now this molded depth is modified from the depth of the vessel. Now, in order to find out the molded depth, allowing for certain parameters, for example, what is the length of hatch combing in the middle half of the vessel? That means from midship, L by 4 forward and L by 4 aft. So what is the length versus what is the length of the vessel itself? So what is the breadth of these hatch combing versus the breadth at mid draft? All these factors are considered to find out the molded depth. Well modified molded depth is slightly more than uh, molded depth. Uh, for example, if the molded depth is something like 14.5 meters, then uh, modified molded depth could be 15 meters. Like uh, when we study these criteria and when we calculate these uh, criteria or demonstrate these criteria on actual ship, we must a student should have an idea like uh, how much will the molded depth change. So maybe 0.5 meters, 0.6 meters, but considering the hatch combing, you know, considering the hatch combing, which are very important in considering the overall stability of the vest, right? So modified molded depth, I said, is slightly more than the molded depth itself. Now to calculate the constant C, which is dependent on various parameters, for example, draft of the vessel, modified molded depth of the vessel, the beam of the vessel at mid draft, you know, uh, you consider the uh, width of the vessel, the breadth of the vessel at different level. So at mid level, what is the breadth of the vessel? Then you have under root draft upon kg. Now, uh, this factor will uh, be very important because it is important at the time that we are calculating uh, or demonstrating these criteria, whether the center of gravity is above water or below water. Then you have CB divided by CW whole square. Now this is going to be a reducing factor because CW is likely in case of, particularly in case of container ships, CW is likely to be more than CB. So this factor when uh, the square is found out is likely to be less than 1. And then finally we have under root 100 divided by length. We are talking about a container ship which is more than 100 meters in length. So this factor is also going to be a reducing factor. So let us uh, consider a realistic situation. Let us say that the draft of the vessel is 12 meters and modified depth is 15 meters and the breadth of the vessel at you know mid draft is 30 meters this is supposed to be square 30 square and then we are talking about the draft of the vessel which is 12 meters and let us assume that the kg is 9 meters that means the center of gravity of the vessel is below the water level let us take the easy figure CB to be 0.6 and CW to be 0.8. This has to be square. And we are talking about uh, a ship probably 196 meters in length so that we are able to find out the under root. Under root of 196 is 14. 
So when we solve this, this is 15, 2s are 30, 2, 30s. This is 1 upon 5. And this is like uh, 2 upon 1.732 should be under root of 3. 0 0.5625 and this is uh, 10 this is nothing but 10 upon 14 so when we so when we uh, multiply all this we get 2 into 0.5625 into 1 0 equal to divided by 1.732 divided by 5 divided by 1 4 gives me 0 0.0928 0 0.0928 the value of C uh, we found for this uh, vessel whose uh, data we have taken approximately is 0 0.0928 so what does the regulation say about the uh, criteria? So it says that the area under the curve up to 30 degrees should be 0 0.009 upon C. So point, so up to 30 degrees, it should be 0 0.009 divided by 0 0.0928. It gives me 0 0.096. 097.097 meter radians and then it says that the area under the curve up to 40 degrees or angle of flooding in case angle of flooding is less than 40 degrees is 0 0.016 upon C 0 0.016 divided by 0 0.0928 gives me point 172.172 meter radian. Now the area under the curve between 30 degrees and 40 degrees or angle of flooding in case it is less than 40 degrees is 0 0.006 divided by C. So 0 0.006 divided by 0 0.0928 gives me 0 0.06. between area. So you can see that uh, the criteria requirement, the, uh, the area under the curve requirement is larger compared to the normal cargo ship uh, or a general requirement of intact stability criteria. Now there is a special criteria in respect of area under the curve up to angle of flooding. So area under the GZ curve up to angle of flooding is 0 0.029 upon C. So 0 0.029 divided by 0 0.0928 gives me 0 0.312, 0 0.312 angle of flooding. So this is a big requirement and that is what has to be satisfied by these ships. Now there are criteria in respect of the writing lever, the writing lever should be at least 0 0.033 upon C at an angle 30 degrees or higher. So let us see 0 0.033 divided by 0 0.0928 gives me the size as 0 0.355. So writing lever 0 0.355 at an angle of 30 degrees or higher, right? So uh, this is one requirement and another requirement is about the maximum GZ. Let us see in case of a container ship which we have um, uh, written down uh, the parameters. What is the requirement in respect of maximum GZ? So it is 0 0.042, 0 0.042 uh, divided by C. So we have found the C to be 0 0.0928. So, which means that the GZ requirement is 0 0.452, 0 0.452, that means 45 centimeters. There is a lot of importance of water plane area, the breadth, as we know, generally the box vessel BM is B square upon 12D. So, influence is made of the breadth and the, the draft of the vessel and additionally, in case of container ship, they have considered the contribution of the hatch combing. Now these hatch combing which are very close to the ship side. 
these hash combings which are very close to the ship side they are kind of uh, acting as in a way they are kind of acting as uh, the superstructure which is dissuading the waves from boarding this so what is the contribution of this shaded area which you see in this diagram the contribution of this shaded area basically is to increase the molded depth of the vessel so uh, if you have hatch combings which are generally high on a container ship and very close to the ship side they act in a way like superstructure of course superstructure uh, should be within 4% of the breadth we know but they act as superstructure so some allowance is made because of the hatch combing so these combings what do they do number one they discourage the waves from boarding the ship which will cause you know top heaviness or uh, free surface effect and number two when the container ship is lifted up in crest lifted up on crest you know she might be exposed to large rolling we have heard about the parametric rolling which happens on uh, typically on the new generation container vessel so when the vessel heels to a large angle there is a contribution from these hatch combings to prevent the capsizing itself 